Hi. Now we are discussing catalysis, which is one of the important topic in uh, inorganic chemistry for CSIR and gate examinations. So in catalysis, uh, we are discussing introduction to the catalysis and hydroformylation, hydrogenation, hydrogen metathesis, and uh, in this we can discuss uh, uh, Wacker process. That means uh, palladium catalyst and rhodium catalyst. That is that is a Wilkinson catalyst, so which are very, very important. So we are we discuss uh, about them in this lecture, okay? Right, so first, what is catalysis? So here, generally, we all know the definition for catalyst as if it's a substance, if a substance increases the rate of reaction without involving in it. So that's simply considered as catalyst, okay? So, so here just look at uh, on this diagram so if a consider a and b are reactants so without catalyst if a and b reacts and if they uh, produce a product so the rate of reaction may be late so if you add a catalyst to the reactants a and b and the catalyst forms a intermediate uh, intermediate with the reactants so this intermediate is uh, not stable that means it is unstable because to give the product easily so it is unstable intermediate and uh, after formation of the product and catalyst and it releases product and catalyst re-entered into the cycle once again and it continues the reaction and cycle okay so this is the activity of catalyst right so if what happens if uh, catalyst forms a stable uh, product with uh, reactants in, inter in, the, in the intermediate stage. So if catalyst forms a inter uh, stable intermediate with uh, reactants, uh, then that is simply catalyst poison. So it is considered as catalyst poison which, which breaks the cycle and there is no chance of formation of product. Okay, So that um, subst substance are considered as catalyst poisons. Okay, right. So what we discussed here, the catalyst is positive catalyst, means it increasing the rate of the reaction. Okay, right. So if you observe here, I have given a uh, given a graph between uh, gives free energy and uh, reaction coordinates. So if you observe in this graph, if you consider this green line, okay, green path. So it has delta G that is gives free energy activation activation energy delta G the change in delta G is more okay so that is without the catalyst if a reaction occurs so there may be chances to have high activation energy so that leads to the uh, to the uh, greater time to take the reaction possible okay so when you add a catalyst to the same reaction so if you observe that the delta G that is in new path so that means the activation energy is decreased that means the reaction there is a chance to uh, uh, complete a reaction in less time okay so it is given under path okay so we have uh, two changes that means the changes in activation energy uh, that is uh, gives free energy when we add the catalyst and when we uh, when we uh, continue the reaction without the catalyst so this is a change we can observe okay so here so in this um, graph is said that delta g have uh, two new pa new paths so one is uh, without the catalyst and another one is with the catalyst so that means we have a doubt that delta g is its state function or path function okay so this is a question here is a uh, a chance to arise in our minds okay so if you observe if you observe this uh, uh, graph uh, clearly you can get the reaction product so uh, without the catalyst we have the same reaction product okay and uh, with the same energy level difference that means the delta G to the product and when we observe for the catalyst also it is getting a new path but the final result is same okay the pi final product is same okay that means what here the total thermodynamics of uh, this reaction that means with a catalyst or without a catalyst the total thermodynamics that means the total delta g of the particular reaction is not changing that means 
the total delta g is equal uh, with the catalyst and without catalyst for a reaction that means it is only del delta g only depending on initial state of the reactants and uh, final states of the uh, product for the total reaction that means delta g is a state function but it is not a path function okay okay now so we we are entering into our topic so that is catalyst on the basis of paces so we have two types of catalysis that is catalyst that is homogeneous catalysis or catalyst and heterogeneous catalysis so that means in homogeneous catalysis the reactants and catalyst are in the same phase if the reactants and catalyst are in the same phase that is homogeneous catalysis if reactants and uh, catalyst are not in the same phase so that is considered as heterogeneous catalysis okay right